Hey guys, it's the Zoo Tycooner, and welcome back to our zoo. Um, once again, thank you for your patience. I know I haven't posted in quite a while. Uh, but, as you can see, we have quite a large exhibit here. Um, it rivals the rhino exhibit. That's because we're going to have some African elephants. By request of Eric the Highlander, and... Who else? Nat the, dra the, the dragon? Dragon, I believe. But yeah, thank you for that request. Uh, we're going to start off by building this shelter. I've, I've come up with a design that I think is pretty cool. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I kind of messed this up, I think. Oh wait, nope. No, I didn't. Good. Start off that way. And then I believe I need three, one, yeah, just like this. There we go. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a walkway here for the zookeepers. <laughs> with the fence separating them. And the elephants will hang out in the rest of the area there. Alright, so that's the basic idea. And I just want to add some glass to the roof. Because what it does is it illuminates the inside like this, and it makes it look a lot, sp uh, a lot roomier, which is great. Because normally I would want to make this bigger for the elephants, because this is kind of small for an elephant shelter. But again, I don't want to take up um, the whole map with uh, just a couple exhibits. So I'm gonna try and give the illusion that it's bigger this way. Alright, we've got that done. Now we need to put in some gates for the zookeepers. We'll put one on either side. Uh, whoops, that's not on the other side. It's like in the middle. There we go. Um, and I'm gonna put, like, so because it's on either side, that way um, zookeepers can get in on either side so that, like, say if an elephant is busy doing something over here and you don't want to get too close because it's dangerous, they can just enter on this side instead. Uh, for example. But, okay. Let's get some hay. So they've got some bedding. Good. Selected already. Um, I'm going to put it on either side here, and then I'm going to have their food in the middle, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, they do have these the standing f um, food on a post. I'll probably put that over here near the pathway so uh, guests can view. So, okay, well, I guess I won't put any food in there then. I'll just leave it for bedding. Perfect. Cool, okay. So, let's see, where do we want to put this? Right there is good. And let's put one more. Do we need another one? It's going to be two elephants in here. So yeah, I think we should put one more. Right there is fine. Cool. Alright, so... I'm thinking the watering hole... No, that's not Savannah. There we go. Should be right over here. Um, near the rhino's watering hole. Just a nice clean shape. Cool. Um... They haven't really got any... Actually, what am, why am I even looking at toys? Don't need toys yet. Let's do the foliage. Ooh, let's try something. I know that some zoos have elephant exhibits, um, and also large animal exhibits like rhinos, um, that have trees and grass like in the middle of the exhibit, but they have it surrounded by a fence so that the animals can't destroy it. So let's see how that looks if we put one here. Uh, let's do it diagonal. Yeah, it looks bigger. Mm, yeah, that's better. I feel like the smaller fence, the elephants could just step over. <laughs> Alright. Tree. That looks a little bit low for the fence. Or, you know what? No, I kind of like that. 
how is it sized compared to these guys? Okay, so it'll stop him from knocking it over, but not from eating it if he wanted to. But that's fine. I like to think about realism when I'm building, but you can't get too technical. Of the w <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Um, can't get too technical, otherwise you'll ruin the uh, aesthetics of it. I definitely do want some of these, though. Oh yeah, that would be cool. I can have like a little field here full of logs, and they can use them as scratching posts. Uh, let's get a smaller one. Uh, where am I looking? Enrichment, all, scratching post, whoops, not there. And do I want it there? No. I like it there. How's that? Does that make sense? Let's move it a little bit closer. Yeah, that's good. All right. So we've got little f little uh, scratching post area there, and let's fix this dirt. Whoa, that's the wrong biome. That looked terrible. Arid desert. Uh, what am I doing? Paint it all sand. Don't mess up the water. Good. Now let's see. This will all be dirt here. Where they frequent to scratch. Make a dirt walkway all the way around. Good. And over here too, towards the food. Okay, let's check on the dogs real quick. They were multiplying like crazy earlier. Food, water, okay, you're just stuck somehow. So put you over there. There were literally like 20 dogs at one point, but I got rid of all the babies. Food, have you got food? Food, yes. Very good. Okay. Let us continue. Alright, I think we're good there. Do the savanna. Come on, sun, come out again. It's hard to see when it's dark. Hopefully you guys can see just fine um, when it turns nighttime in this game. I forgot to check, but I think I think it's okay. I think I would have noticed if it was too dark after rendering. Ooh, that looks a little intense. Does it look good that? with that color. Yeah, that's fine. Sweet! This is looking good. Okay, that dog can just die for all I care. <laughs> right now. Not even gonna bother trying to, f trying to fix him. Hopefully the zookeeper can. Alright, that's good. Oh, I did forget to mention, guys. Um, a lot of people have requested a reptile house, which is fantastic. Um, I did want to do that for this episode, but I can't come up, or not I can't, but I haven't come up with a good design yet that I like, and I've worked on it for like three hours or more. Um, 
but I will do that as soon as possible. I just don't have enough inspiration for it at the moment to get it done. But I think we're almost done here as far as the laying down the dirt. I just want to fill it out a little bit more. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yes, it's just fine. I just hope that this exhibit isn't so big that you can't see the grass on the other side, because there's a, a render limit. Actually, let me back away. Oh, okay, that's the render limit. So, it might be just out of reach. Like, when it for whatever is right up against the fence here. But, no biggie. That's one of the things that really limits me. Um or my desire to make really big exhibits because then some of it the foliage just goes invisible and then it doesn't look very good at all. Alright, let's put, throw some elephants in. Ooh, that's a cool color. Uh, that's too vibrantly blue for my taste. Nope, don't want the same. Nope. 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 Uh, do I want that? No, too dark. Aw oh, man, gotta select it again now. Here we go. Oh my gosh, come on. All I want is the normal gray. Or, ooh, I kinda like that. Okay, that, that works, that works. I'm alright with that. Okay, let's give him a tire. Just because. <laughs> Watch them like throw that out of the exhibit. I bet they would if it was uh, real life. Okay, they've got food, they got water, just gotta finish decorating. Uh, where are the palm trees? Palm tree. Mm, not so much. I don't like how symmetrical that is. Doesn't look very natural, looks made up. So let's pass on that for now. For the reptile exhibit, or reptile house, that'll be fine though. Because obviously a building is a human construction, so symmetry will probably work just fine there. Oh yeah, I had an idea for this area. Let's do that really quick. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Gazebo. Come on, grass. There we go. So people can sit and watch the elephants. Or rhinos, actually. Oh, uh, nope. Can't really see the rhinos from there. Maybe a little bit. Cool. Okay. Mm, just put a couple more. A little random. Uh, and let's put... Let's continue that fence. Where is it? Here we go. Like this, and like that. Perfect. Definitely have to put some more foliage here, because it looks way too bare. Uh, I'm putting those at really specific interval. That's not good. I'm a little bit bad when it comes to placing foliage randomly, because I tend to go in patterns and I don't notice it until later. Alright, I even did it over here. Must eliminate patterns. Patterns in nature are non-existent, usually. Kind of. Not... I don't know. <laughs> usually patterns are non-existent. But it depends what you're talking about. Foliage patterns are non-existent, usually, but... Like, animal behavior and, and color patterns and stuff are repetitive. I don't know why I felt the need to specify, but I did. Uh, I do want to put down a little more... Mm, you know what? No. No, 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 no. I'll pass. I don't want to overthink it. Okay, so... I've got a path there. Let's stick a door on it. Should we put a door on this side? Sure, why not? It'll make it easier for anyone walking around the zoo to, to get around. Speaking of which, I would love 
to release this map for you guys to like explore personally, like in your own game. Only problem is you can't do that without having the exact downloads that I have, otherwise there'll be stuff missing in the zoo. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a way, like I could probably upload all of my downloads to the cloud somewhere and then you could download it. Um, it would just take a little while, but you know what? I think I actually will do that. And then once this map is complete, then I'll release it. How does that sound? I could easily do that actually. Okay. I need to stop wandering around and put more plants. Rocks. Rocks is what I need to. Not too many though. Let's see, do I want coastal or do I want to go with the rocks that are in the wild dog exhibit? Maybe I could do both. Alright, let's put one palm tree there. <coughs> Just like that. Wash. Wash. Refill. Hopefully they're drinking okay. It's annoying because sometimes animals won't drink from their ponds. Yeah, the thirst doesn't sit. Whoa! Okay. Maybe they do need another source. That's frustrating. But oh well. Uh, so that they actually go in the shelter. I guess I can put their water in here. Then it'll make it look like they're using it because I don't think they'll actually go in here to sleep. Actually, let's put two. That makes sense. Since there's two Ellie's. Two Ellie's. That's awesome. It merges perfectly with the uh, metal of the fence. It might have come in the same pack, actually. I'm not sure. Aw, oh, that looks so awesome. Him just wandering over here. He's huge. I love elephants. Elephants are one of my favorite animals in real life. I mean, I love all animals. But elephants are definitely up there on the list. Uh, what else do we need? I'm kind of drawing a blank, honestly. They do need a lot of open room simply because they're elephants, so maybe I don't need to fill this with too much more. I have an idea. What if we outline this fence here with a wall of stone? So these rocks. That could look cool, right? That's huge. Huge. Maybe I like this one better. This one's kind of knobbly, oddly, wibbly, wobbly shaped. Um, that's for those Doctor Who fans out there. I don't. I haven't watched it yet. I, me and my friend have been wanting to uh, watch it, but we haven't gotten around to it yet. So I'm interested to see what all the fuss is about. I'm very much a uh, science-y space fan, so it's probably right up my alley. As long as it's not too goofy, which it does kind of look like it is. But if it's done right, I might still like it. Okay, how does that look? That is okay. Let's just put a couple more rocks here. Perfect. That is awesome. So very awesome. Now the only thing left to do is see if we can't put maybe just a rock or two inside the exhibit itself. So let's see how these look in there. Ooh, not bad at all actually. I thought they would contrast too much with the coastal rocks, but it doesn't look like it. Now we need to get us some benches. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fence off where is it? Oh, okay, I've already got it. I'm gonna fence this off like this. Okay, and we're gonna have some benches here. Good, I like that. And, ooh, this looks like it needs some kind of statue, or maybe a donation box. <coughs> or a fountain. Does this fit? No, it doesn't fit, unfortunately. What to put? So many options. And let's see if we can't put more palm trees around, too. 
Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. See, in human built-up areas, it's fine to use symmetry, but if you're talking natural exhibits, that's where you want to avoid it. So, symmetry has a place, even though people with OCD might want to do it all the time. Ah, that's so cool. I'm so glad I thought to put that uh, fountain there. Awesome, okay. Uh, donation box. I thought I put one over here somewhere, but apparently not. Uh, donation boxes... this one. I believe... I'm not even sure what money sign that is. I want to say Euro. But regardless, I'm going to use that one anyways. Just because it's the most natural looking box. How does this look walking from over here? Ah, that looks cool. Okay. I love that. I love it, love it, love it, love it. How does it look from up here? Not so great, because the plants don't render in. But it's still pretty cool that you can see that far away. I've got a view of every single exhibit I've built so far from this platform. That's pretty awesome. Should we put... nah. I'm tempted to put a third elephant in here, just because they do travel in herds, or live in herds, uh, in the wild, but this doesn't seem big enough. Actually, you know what? They'll have a baby eventually, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I think... I think we're pretty much good for this episode. I feel like this is a really incomplete exhibit, but I'm not sure why. I just feel like something's still missing, so I'll have a look and see if I can't um, add anything to it, and I'll show you in the next episode, as usual, if I think of anything. Um, definitely give me your ideas if you can think of anything, because um, I would always love to hear ideas that might be better than my own, so I could implement them. So yeah, I guess we're good. Thanks for, again for your patience for uh, waiting for this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.